All right, Brush Monkeys, we're back, and this week we are looking at the TT Games Carnival Plague Doctor. That's what the figure looks like. Pretty spiffy. And here's what his box art looks like. And you can see he's got, for the most part, it's all like his gauntlets and boots and belts are all leather, and the rest of it is black, with the exception of his mask. And this little doohickey on his wrist. It's got some kind of screen on it. So I think for the most part, because he's got a lot of nice folds and details and whatnot in his cloak, I'm going to do him mostly in contrast paints. I'm going to use Black Templar for the majority of them. And then I'm going to touch up the belts and leathers and what have you with um, the Wraithbone before I go over with the Snake Bite Leather. His mask I'm going to do also in gray and then highlight with a little army painter matte white. A little doohickey on his wrist is getting um, the Reaper Blackened Steel. And then I'm probably going to do the screen in white and then go over it with uh, this Tesseract Glow. This is I know the box art makes the screen look blue. This is... Um, a new technical paint from Games Workshop. I've been wanting to try this out. This came out with their uh, Necron series. The new Necron figures came out last year. So I've been wanting to find an excuse to try this out. And I think this guy, I'm going to do some OSL on his eyes and that little uh, thing on his wrist with that. I think that's going to look pretty spiffy. And of course his base will be done the same as the rest of them with the uh, Basilicanum Gray cobblestones and purple base band. So, yeah, I think he's going to look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this off and get started on him, and then we'll come back and see when I've made some progress. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, we're back, and I've got the Black Templar all done on him. You can see he's kind of, you see it's still wet. I just literally just finished it. But um, I think this is where the Zenithal priming is really going to shine because you're going to have natural highlights like the top of his hat. And looking down from on on top plus you'll have the shadows from underneath you can see that's nice and dark I think that's gonna really look spiffy um, when the black Templar paint dries I will go back over the um, like the gauntlets and his boots and his leather straps and packs around his body here and um, with the uh, uh, wraith bone and then when that dries, then I'll do the snake bite leather contrast paint, which is, is going to make that look really nice and leathery, but it's also going and it's going to bring out all that detail too. This I think is really going to look spiffy. But first, we have to wait for the contrast paint to dry and kind of see where that highlighting is coming into play on the back already. So yeah, I'm going to take a break and let this dry. I think he's going to be a pretty quick paint since it's mostly contrast paints however uh, because it's contrast paints and they take longer to dry there's gonna be a lot more breaks in here so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then we will come back and do the leather parts all right so we'll see you soon bye all right I'm back and I've made some progress as you can see got all the leathers painted up on him including his hat band there and I based his mask, and it, uh, it was kind of hard defining exactly where the eyes were on the mask. So I went ahead and shade washed it with just a touch of Nuln oil. And uh, that'll stand out a little bit more when I put the uh, Army Painter Matte White on there. But for the most part, he's looking pretty good. He's got, uh, there's a little syringe hanging off his belt. Right right here you just barely see it right there that's gonna be painted silver when I do the uh, or steel when I do the thing on his wrist here I might do a little uh, little thing of fluid in it I don't know but um, yeah I'm gonna do those eyes in white and do the tesseract glow on that this thing on his wrist is getting the blackened steel and I'll, and, uh, I'll do the tesseract glow on the screen as well but all of that is contingent on this drying up, so I'm going to have to take another break, let the uh, 
contrast paint dry again but uh, yeah he's, he's coming along pretty well he looks looks pretty close to the box art Let's see there's your box art there's your guy I'm probably not gonna do as extreme a glow on that one because um, this is this part is on top of his cloak and I'm not sure why the glow shows up on that I don't think it would but um, anyway I'm not gonna paint it that way so I'm gonna paint the glow green because I'm not figuring my rules um, I'm also probably gonna need to go back over some of the cobblestones you can see where I've got some contrast paint on the cobblestones just touch those up with the uh, gray sear before I do the basilicon and gray but uh, overall I'm pretty happy with how this guy's coming out like I said it's quick paint um, contrast paints usually are um, he's pretty quick um, him and the the doctor of the mind which is this guy that we're gonna be painting up next week he's kind of a similar occupation and similar he's gonna have a similar color palette too so I'm gonna go ahead and leave these paints out for him he'll be a, another fairly quick paint so for right now like I said I'm gonna take a break and let that contrast paint dry and then we'll come back and uh, do up the whites and the metallics and hopefully wrap this guy up pretty soon all right see you soon bye all right I am back and I've made some more progress I've highlighted the mask I realized he had a strap around the back of his head so I went ahead and based that in raised bone and did that in the uh, painted it up in the snake bite leather and uh, painted his little syringe there and I painted the tesseract glow effects in his eyes and on the little screen there and on the syringe kind of looks like the um, the stuff the guy had in the reanimator <laughs> it's like that kind of thing but I'm really really happy with how that mask turned out I can zoom in even more look at those eyes Oop. Too far. Look at that bad boy. Yes, I'm really happy with how this guy's coming out. He looks, I think he looks really, really good. Put the metallics on all those little buckles bag and all his boots detail all those little buttons on his coat and the studs on his gauntlets buckle on his hat really happy with how those guys coming out so I touched up the bricks around his feet and cloak with the um, gray sear so now I'm gonna go ahead and pause and do the uh, basilicum gray and the purple base band and then uh, we'll come back for one last look before he's completely done. And then uh, probably do the metallics on the base and then call him done. All right. So I will see you soon. Bye. All right, I've got his cobblestones on his base painted. And the base band, at least based in the purple. Um, I haven't done the metallic on it yet. But there's also... I gotta let that cobblestone dry. I wanted to point out that it's kind of cool how you can get variations of the cobblestones based on what's been zenithal primed, what's been recoated with the gray sear, and what's just been allowed to have the uh, mechanicus, or mechanicus, the basilicum gray uh, just pool on the brick, and you get that variation of tones. It looks really realistic and nice. Um, one other thing I was going to do for the, to this guy before he's completely done is I still need to go, once the basilicum gray is dry, I'm going to go in and do the metallic purple, you know, obviously. Um, but after he's matte sealed, I'm going to take, I've got some brush on gloss varnish here. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in my previous videos or not, but because I've got reason to on this guy, I'm going to use it on him. I'm going to paint the little syringe 
the computer screen and his eye lenses there with the gloss varnish after it's done and that'll kind of give it that that glassy look to it and it'll uh, it'll help it stand out and look like it's a lens or a, a glass tube in the case of the syringe and uh, I think it'll really help it look really nice so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and take a break and let that siliconum gray dry and the next time you see this guy he's gonna be completely done so he's coming along pretty well All right. see you soon and here he is, Brush Monkeys, the finished Plague Doctor from TT Games Carnival series. I think he turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with how the contrast paints look on him in particular. He's got a lot of detail, a lot of crevices in his cloak, and I thought those would take pretty well for the contrast paint. Get on him a little more. See all those little details, all those little cracks and crevices on him. He looks pretty spiff. I am really happy with how he came out. So, I am officially calling him done. And uh, next week we will be starting in on his uh, companion in arms, the Doctor of the Mind, which will use a, a similar palette. Uh, it's going to be he, uh, a lot of Black Templar contrast for most of it. He's got a couple of straps that'll be snake bite leather and uh, some detail work here and there. I think he's going to look pretty spiff. We'll get into that next week. For now, I'm going to go ahead and call this guy done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Both of those help me with my YouTube numbers and help support me doing what, what I do best. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you want to support me more directly, you can visit my Patreon site um, and go on my Instagram page to see uh, all the miniatures that I paint on this site and how to get your hands on one of your own if you want one. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can check both of those to see when new videos get posted. And visit my merch store at uh, storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.